All right, guys. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to use Sandboxy to run several Steam accounts at once on one computer or uh, across multiple. So let's just get into it. So first you want to go to Google and you want to download Sandboxy. So just say download Sandboxy in the search bar. This should pop up. Now you're gonna have several options here to run several accounts at once. So more than just two, so you could run three, four, five, however many Steam accounts you have. You need to use the Sandboxy Plus. And so I usually just do this first one right here and just download it. All right, once it's downloaded, usually I just drag it right onto my desktop and then I open it. Let's get rid of Chrome. Uh, something will pop up, just say yes. You're gonna select the language. I primarily use English, so I'm gonna say okay. Just accept the agreement and click next. And then install Sandboxy Plus on this computer, say next. This is just telling you where they're gonna put it. If you want it somewhere else, you can put it somewhere else. I just always click next. And I still click next. Um, I usually say yes to the shortcut and yes to the latest templates. So, all right, and then you just click install. And then you just have this check marked and say finish. Uh, introduction, I say next, next, next. And then there's some options here. I usually just unclick them. And say finish. These are the global settings. I always exit out of those. And then this is what sh you should be looking at. So I personally have six Steam accounts. I primarily use this for Day of Dragons. So what you wanna do to start is you wanna go to Sandbox up here and click Create New Box. Name it whatever you want. I always do the names of my accounts, so my first account, my main account. Make sure it's on standard isolation sandbox default and then click next and then finish. I usually say don't show this message again because it's just repeated. And now you want to right click on this account you just made. So right click and you want to go to sandbox options right here. Now you want to scroll and go to resource access right here. And then you want to click this little arrow pointing down here and you wanna click browse for file. And now you want to go to where your Steam is normally, um, normally held. So mine is always in program files times 86. And I scroll till I see Steam here. And then I scroll until I find steam.exe. If you cannot see this, you want to go to your search bar down here and click or and type extensions. And you should see a show file extensions in File Explorer. You want to click that. And you want to make sure that this show file extensions is on. And you also want to make sure that you have show hidden in system files on. Make sure those are on. You can exit out of that now. So now you click on that Steam EXE and just click open. It'll add it to your sandbox. 
And then you also want to go to the little down arrow again and click browse for folder. And I always make sure to add the Steam folder, the whole Steam folder, just in case. And so it should look like this now. And you want to just click OK. Now, to run a Sandbox account, you need to right click on that Sandbox and click Run, Run Program. This little thing is going to pop up and you want to run as administrator and then you want to click Browse. So now you need to go back to your Steam folder and you need to go down to the steam.exe and you want to click open and then you want to click OK. Little thing will pop up, just say yes. Now you can see all of my accounts here. So I have Darbs1 here, so I'm going to click on my main account, which is this one. So you want to go to the game that you want to run multiple accounts on. So for me, that's Day of Dragons. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to properties. You want to type in this phrase in the launch options under general. This is very important and the game will not run multiple accounts without this. So do write this whole thing in there and the last two numbers can be whatever you want them to be. I always have the numbers tied to whatever account it is. So if I'm on my first account, I just do one one. If I'm on my second account, I'll do two two. It really doesn't matter, but you need to make sure that you have two random numbers in there. And then you exit, exit, and then you right click on the sandbox, you click terminate, and that closes the entire program. And now when you reopen it, so if you would right click and click run and run program and do the same steps again, it would uh, open and it would work. You could run, so I could run my first account and my second account at the same time. Now, you have to do this for every single account. So what I just showed you for my first account, I had to do for my second account. And I'll have to do all of those steps for each of my six accounts. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So I hope that this was helpful.